Gamers and welcome back to our channel. Today I thought I would join in on a tag by Strawberry Moon Reborn. So I just came across this channel um, from another YouTuber that I watched. I can't even remember which one because I saved these questions at least a month ago. So I'm not sure where I saw this tag, but it is made by Strawberry Moon Reborns, and I will be putting the link to their YouTube channel in the description below. Their channel is pretty unique because it is a reborn daddy and a reborn mommy, which I know, um, couple reborn videos are quite limited. I wish I could get my reborn daddy to join in with more of my videos, but hopefully in the future. So today we are going to do this tag and it's a series of 10 questions. So before I start, I just wanted to show you little Tabitha. She is the one helping me do this video today and I am going to get started. Okay, so question number one. Where were you and how did you feel about your very first Reborn doll? Okay, I first started collecting Reborn dolls when I was... I want to say 18 or 19, I think that was 2008, 2007 or so. Um, so that's when I first started collecting Reborn dolls. And I was just so amazed by them because at the time I was in search of a American Girl doll on eBay. And of course I couldn't afford one brand new because they were over a hundred bucks. But, um... I don't know I just got lucky on eBay it was an artist this was her um, first go around making reborn dolls and when I came across these dolls I was just so amazed like wow there are dolls out there that look like real babies this is now my new ultimate doll to have <laughs> and I got lucky went in an eBay auction I think I may have spent somewhere between 50 and eighty dollars for my very first reborn doll so i was really really lucky question number two do you bond instantly with a new baby or does it take a while to grow over time um i don't know it really depends on the doll when it's a custom reborn doll i know for sure that i'm going to instantly be in love because this is your vision that's coming to light like you get to pick the hair and the eye color and the skin tone and you finally get to see your idea come to light and so far I've not been disappointed with any of the custom reborn dolls that I have uh, received now you guys know that I got Tabitha as a gift from Miss Billy at Billy's Nursery and she was a custom for Miss Billy, but not for me. So, But I knew what she looked like automatically. I didn't have to wait on her. But when Miss Billy introduced her to her Reborn Doll channel, I was instantly in love with her. Like, she wasn't even my Reborn baby, but I was so, so in love with her. She reminded me so much of the other dolls in my collection. And I instantly fell in love with her. So... Um, but I will say I have had dolls in my collection that I had to, uh, warm up to and really work on a bond with. And, yeah. So that leads me to question number three. Did you ever have a reborn baby that you love to look at but just couldn't bond with? Y'all, as much as it kills me to say this... Tatiana was that doll for me and she's the doll who most recently left my nursery and you can find her as Aria. Is it Aria or Aria? I'm so sorry if I pronounced it wrong but she is now um, the baby of Bahamian doll lover so you guys know all about that but Tatiana was that doll for me. I really liked her. She made me smile every time I looked at her, but I just could not bond with her. And I'm pretty sure it was because when I had her custom made, I assumed um, she was going to be bigger. She was going to be larger. I had never seen the um, Maisie sculpt in person, just photos. 
So going by her measurements and how she looked online, I thought she was going to be a lot bigger than what she was. And that's what really um, held back the bond for me with Tatiana. So, yeah, she was that doll that I loved to look at, but I just couldn't bond with her. So, number four, do you like to take your babies out with you? What kind of reactions did you get? If not, would you like to? Yes, I have taken my reborns out, but most of the time it is for reborn doll meetups. I don't usually go out um by myself with my reborn dolls just because i'm not really the people person i don't really like people coming up to me and being nosy and asking a whole bunch of questions or staring so i usually just shop around and mind my own business if the rare occasion comes where i take my dolls out but usually when i'm with my reborn doll friends and we're out together first of all like four or five women with strollers and <laughs> diaper bags and babies it can draw a crowd even if it was just like a mom club or something people are going to look but when i'm in a group i feel more comfortable because you always have somebody there to have your back if the public gets out of hand or gets rude or ugly with you you have somebody there for support whereas if you're by yourself Getting bombarded in public can be really, really stressful, especially if you're a shy person like I am. But um, I really do enjoy bringing my reborn dolls out when I can, um, just to enjoy them by myself, to be in a different environment. I've been wanting to bring my babies to the park for the longest time, and right now I'm just waiting to get some kind of car seat or a uh, stroller because I don't have my car seat and stroller anymore but yeah ultimately I do like bringing my babies out and it is fun uh, as far as the kind of reactions I get um the very first time I brought my reborn doll out which the first time was usually awesome because at that point I was not aware of how people would react i didn't really think about it too much kind of like ignorance is bliss but after that first time it kind of ruined the experience for me and want to take them out on my own by myself um but usually the reactions i get are <clears throat> excuse me people are nice um they're really inquisitive they want to know details like How's this doll made? Like, I've never seen anything like this before. How could I get one? And they want to know, like, the details of pretty much how they're made. So those kinds of questions are always fun to try to explain to them. And they're really intrigued by it. So the reactions are generally positive. Okay, question number five. Have you ever taken a baby on holiday with you? If yes, what was the experience? If not, would you? No, I, and by holiday, I'm assuming they mean, like, vacation. Um, no, I have never taken a reborn doll on vacation with me, but I've tried to convince my fiancé to let me. Um, he's totally, like, not against the idea, but the only reason he thinks I shouldn't take one with me is the fact that if I leave it in the hotel room, he, he wouldn't want it to get stolen or something happen to it, which makes a lot of sense because... When we go on vacation, we usually go to uh, anime conventions, and conventions can be so busy, so hectic, lots of people. I've got my cell phone stolen right out of my purse before, so um, I would be absolutely devastated if something happened to one of my reborns, or if it got stolen, or something crazy like that. But I really do want to bring one of my reborns at some point when we go on vacation because I usually meet up with friends um, at the convention and it's usually that one time a year that I actually get to see those particular people and they know I collect reborns and they're interested so I'd really like to bring one one day just so they can see in person but I don't think it'll be anytime soon. Question number six. Do you change your collection around a lot? I try not to change my collection around at this point all the dolls I have are forever babies like that is my ultimate goal to have forever babies um uh, before I started college that was 2011 
yeah, 2011, I sold all seven of my Reborn dolls that I had and that funded like college textbooks and other things that I needed being a freshman in college. So I sold my collection then and once graduation came around in 2015, I decided to start my collection over again and that is where you can... Um, see some of my very first videos with Nola. I think he was the Kira sculpt from um, Bountiful Baby. But that was the first doll to start my collection again. And then the first custom doll was, you guys know, Tamaya. So I started my collection over then. And since then, a few babies have come and gone, like Shamar, um, my Georgia Piggott sculpt. He has gone. Tatiana's gone, Tamaya's gone, um, but, uh, for the most part, the babies that are here with me now in my collection, I really love them, I can't think of parting with them, especially the babies that were gifts, like, uh, baby Trace, my preemie baby, and now Tabitha, she definitely can't go anywhere, and Trevor was basically a gift from my fiance, and Truett was a gift from my mom. So they definitely can't go anywhere. Um, they are definitely forever babies. And if I do change my collection from here on out, it'd probably be adding reborns, not necessarily selling any. So knock on wood <laughs> that I never have to sell any because I really, really love the dolls that I have now. Okay. Question number seven. What makes you fall in love with a baby and want to buy it? Oh, that's a hard question because I'm not even going to lie. The first thing I look at is the price, like hands down. The price and whether or not if I can swing it <laughs> with a payment plan or not. The second, a very close second, of course, is the doll and the quality of the doll if it has hair the quality of the hair um i've always liked dolls with long dark hair like any kind of doll long dark hair no matter what the skin tone was i always like long dark hair so you guys know that because the majority if not all all my dolls who have hair have dark hair first of all and i did um try different styles with short and long but for the majority if it has dark curly hair wavy hair i'm going to be in love with it <laughs> so that the hair um then next would be the skin tone and how well it's painted and the size ultimately if it's too if it's a baby that's too small i'm most likely not going to bond with it as much but of course trace is my exception because he's very special so those are kind of the qualities i look for if i fell in love with a baby and this is the reason why i don't usually buy dolls that are not custom made by me because usually custom made I get to choose everything and 99.9% .9 of the time I'm going to love that doll because it's exactly what I want and I picked out everything. Whereas with a doll that's already made, made just like already made and ready to sell, I'm going to be extremely picky about uh, putting my money down for it because I'm not sure if I'm going to 100% like it when he or she comes so I can be a little weary about that and my new rule for my collection is that <clears throat> I wouldn't collect any dolls that weren't custom made and I'm not trying to be snooty or anything but I feel like um you're more guaranteed to have a doll that you absolutely love and want to keep Whereas you're kind of taking a gamble on a doll that's already made. You're only just really going by the pictures. So, fingers crossed. <laughs> so, that's kind of like my rule right now. Uh, number eight of all your babies in the past, present, and on the way. Which is your favorite? Oh, man. These questions are really good and really hard. <sighs> of all the babies I've had past present and any that i may 
get in the future. Well, we're not even going to consider what's going to happen in the future. Because they're always coming out with different doll sculpts. And you never know what sculpt you're going to fall in love with next. But if I had to choose a favorite now, it's really hard between... I'm over here looking at my collection because it's really hard to decide. Like, I love all of them so, so much for different reasons. I really can't pick a favorite. But if I had to pick a favorite right now, it'd be between the very first Reborn doll that I ever got, which I am so sad that I party with, and um, Tabitha, actually, Lil Ling. <laughs> she's my favorite for right now. I don't know if it's because she's new or I've always been in love with her. But Lil Ling is definitely my favorite in my collection right now. And my very, very first Reborn doll was... I don't know. She was perfect. She was a chunky little baby. She had blonde hair, really pale skin. She was closed eyes. She was just so cuddly. Um, I don't know. I just really loved that doll uh, because it was my first one and because I had never had anything like that before. So she was really special. And I am sad that I don't have her anymore. But hopefully in the future I can get a doll that is made similar to her or um, in her likeness. So we shall see. But that's for a long time from now. Um, number nine. What has been the most beautiful box opening that you've ever had? Okay, if you guys have seen my review for Marquita Booker and my sweet baby Reborn Nursery, you guys know that I stated in that review that she has the best box openings hands down and I still stick by that. Like... Her box openings are magical. The baby comes with all kinds of outfits, accessories, shoes, socks. And her presentation is just amazing. Um, everything's neatly packaged. Her certificate and the paperwork is all together. And her thank you cards are so sweet. I know that the words she's using isn't just something she copy and paste on every customer's card. She, like, honestly... Um, means what she says to her customers and she really is appreciative of her business so her box openings are my absolute favorite um if that changes i will let you know but <laughs> as far as i'm concerned she has the best box openings and they are just beautiful and lastly number 10 what is your most memorable reborn doll related moment Ooh. Mm, I'd have to say having a reborn doll meetup because, and this is why it was so special, we meet collectors in the community all the time, but not all the time we have the means to meet them in person. So I have been talking to these ladies for probably a year or at least nine months before I met them up and by the time we did meet we were just so excited to see each other we were nervous cuz I mean everybody's nervous when you're meeting somebody for the first time cuz you want them to like you and and all of that but everything just fell into place so naturally everybody got along so well the chemistry was great we had so much fun it was so fun like hanging out and taking our dolls around and talking to people who came up to us in public and it was just such an amazing day like that is still my most favorite day um ever right now like the feeling I had it was just amazing and I talked about it for weeks afterward <laughs> but Meeting up with Reborn Doll friends in person is so fun. And I really, really, really like a chance to try to meet more Reborn Doll collectors in the community, whether they're local or not. I may have to do some serious planning in terms of travel, but uh, and I'm totally afraid to travel by myself. So going out of state to visit one of y'all by myself is, I'm sorry, it's just not happening. I'm going to have to recruit somebody 
or hopefully one of my reborn doll friends from Louisiana would carpool with me and we can go meet some other doll collectors that are um state wise near us but doing it by myself I'm just too paranoid and um bad sense of direction but <laughs> with all that being said I really do would like to meet up with more doll collectors like in the next year if not sooner so that is my plan you guys hopefully I really hope it does come true um but yeah so that was all the questions for this tag made by strawberry moon reborns thank you guys for watching and tuning in with us um Tabitha still has her dress and one that I made her hopefully uh this weekend I'll be able to make her another one and true it definitely needs some new clothes I've been saying that for a while so I definitely want to make her uh, a few dresses at some point but yeah thank you guys for the awesome feedback on my video about the dress as well that really made me feel good because I was really proud of myself and I still am but hopefully all the dreams and goals that I've set in terms of making doll clothes will come true and I'm keeping my fingers crossed <laughs> so thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video Bye.